As CEO, I am taking this opportunity to share some important information about your children's safety and well-being at Collegium Charter School. Throughout the 2017-18 school year, we will focus our efforts not only on quality academics, but also on the social and emotional health of our students. The purpose of this initiative is to highlight the importance of character education and to provide age-appropriate educational activities focused on preventing harassment, intimidation, and bullying. We will be utilizing a new curriculum through our elementary guidance department called Second Step. Uh, this will help our students develop coping and social interaction skills while learning and practicing appropriate methods for responding to challenging situations. Teachers will hold classroom meetings and in our high school students will participate in school-wide town hall meetings. Both are forums for students to take on leadership roles, share thoughts, and solve classroom and social issues in an atmosphere for respect. Our school-wide positive behavior programs, Roar and Pride, will continue in our elementary and middle school grades. Collegium has hired additional guidance counselors so that our 515 and 535 buildings each have two full-time guidance counselors assigned solely for the students of those buildings. Across campus, there is an emphasis on building relationships with our students, and we've provided our faculty with professional development to help students feel more connected to their school and in turn reduce discipline concerns. We pride ourselves in knowing that our students are known by their teachers. Clearly, the message to our students and to our community is that hurtful language or hurtful behavior in school, on school grounds, or on our buses will not be tolerated, not in our house. The beginning of the school year is an optimal time to share some simple tips with families to support our initiatives and subsequently your children's emotional growth. We seek your commitment in making CCS a hate-free community. So to that end, take time each day to have a conversation with your children about their day-to-day -day activities. Lead by example with signs and expression of kindness. Discuss situations with your children's teachers and principals before posting situations on social media and crowdsourcing responses. You'd be surprised to learn how much your children imitate actions from watching and observing their parents. Establish and enforce family rules that let children know that hurtful behavior and hurtful talk is harmful to others and is not acceptable at home, at school, and on the bus. Encourage your children to speak up and help those who are being bullied. We know bystander students can be effective in stopping hateful behavior. And finally, talk with your children about cyberbullying and the impact of sending mean, cruel, or threatening internet or text messages. We encourage you to keep the lines of communication open between your family and your children's teachers and principal by reporting directly to the Collegium any concerning information your children relay to you. As you have heard, we are committed to our initiatives and programs. However, should we encounter repeated incidents of harassment, intimidation, or bullying, or if any one action is determined by the school principal to be egregious in nature, we will implement the code of, of conduct to the fullest, which does include possible legal intervention. Please believe, after my recent health issue, I've seen firsthand the kindness and compassion of the entire Collegium community, and I thank you for that. I know that it's possible to have a collegium community that exhibits good character, works together to help the children in our community understand our shared values, and demonstrates a strong homeschool partnership. We need you as our partners. So on behalf of our staff, I appreciate your cooperation and support in helping to make CCS a safe and comfortable place for learning. Thank you.